you're expanding to LA, doesn't it worry you that LA is now, you know, steal anything you want and get away with it land? It doesn't worry me though. It doesn't worry me. No, because if you look at all the reports and the stories and I've looked at a lot of them, um, one, I'm not, first off, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to run or hide because other people are doing dumb shit. What am I going to do? Outsmart yeah, but you could go to dinner and I walk up and snatch that watch right off your wrist. It's like LA dude right now. You see videos of that shit. Sure. They're like eating dinner that. and someone just walks in and snatches shit. Sure. But the security guard that's sitting at the table behind me is going to handle you. You hope. Hope. True. Oh, you mean your security guy? I have security. Oh, okay. Guard. Yes. Yeah. Now well, for the wise. common person. <laughs> so here's, here's my thing with that is like, yes, you do run the risk of being just sitting somewhere and some guy walks up, puts a gun in your face. It happened in Beverly Hills. There's nothing you can do about that, honestly. But for that one person that got robbed, there was also a thousand other people in LA that day that didn't. So the odds, if you want to do percentages, are in my favor, the way I see it. Right. Now, call it irrational way of thinking, sure. But I've been doing this for- Dude, you're going to get a new nickname. Do Ballsy. <laughs> Um, you know, people, they, people do they, every single time I do something, they're like, you're going to get robbed. You're going to get robbed. You're going to get robbed. Well, you know, knock on wood. Uh, I've been doing this four and a half years and I've never been robbed. But you said you got robbed in Dallas. I, so, so my business partner did. I was, I wasn't there. Yeah. Well, I have never robbed. It is, but I wasn't part of it. I have personally never been robbed and if you watch, I, I watch a, a lot of these robbery videos. It's people that aren't using common sense. They're not paying attention to their surroundings. I'm, I'm very, very aware. I'm probably the most aware of anyone I've ever met of my surroundings. I know what's going on, when it's going on. I know where I'm at. And I put my whole life on social media. Huh? Mitch. Yeah. What's up, Alex? <laughs> it's work as usual. A terrifying home invasion in the Hollywood Hills. A man woke up to a robber pointing a gun at him. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live okay, with I'm why listening. he believes he may have been targeted. Joy, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, Serena, very, very scary story. We are live right now on Carmen Crest Drive here in Hollywood Hills. You can see the street is lined with a whole bunch of, of course, very expensive homes in this community. And it was here in one of those homes early this morning when the man said someone broke in and pointed a gun at him. The garage is insane. It's a YouTube episode with quite a view of a rental home that is now the latest scene of a home invasion robbery. Being in this business, I've heard this story a million times. <clears throat> it was just the first time I've ever really lived it. Anthony Fair was the target. They put a gun in my face and said, where's a briefcase? Fair is a high-end watch dealer with a big social media following and a YouTube show. From Dallas, he and his friends arrived in Hollywood about a week ago and started posting all about their trip. The move here, it's been, we've been talking about it for weeks. Getting here, showing off the house, showing off the area. You know, we, we delay everything we do, but it's not hard to figure out this house. The LAPD got the call around 1 a.m. of a robbery. Ferrer says he had just fallen asleep when four men entered his bedroom downstairs. Multiple demands of where's the backpack, where's the briefcase, so they knew what they, knew what they were looking for. So what did they take? Empty briefcases. What did they think they were taking? Briefcases full of watches. They zip-tied my hands behind my back and then they left out my patio door. In the moment, Ferrer says he just tried to stay calm. Well, it's just a matter of going through the motions, hoping for the best outcome. They got out, I gave them what they wanted, and none of us were hurt. Police are looking for four suspects who left in a dark colored sedan. It never really hits you until it happens. So, you know, we have, we have protection during the day with us in security. And although this group is still in shock, Ferrer says he's thankful because he knows what could have been lost. The stuff's replaceable like these guys aren't. 
Very true. Now, Ferris says that the thieves did get away with quite a lot of cash as well as a few of those watches, but certainly not as much as he thinks they were looking for. As for the suspects, we don't have much of a description. They're just looking for four men, but investigators tell us there's a ton of security video up and down this street, and they are looking through it, hoping to have a little bit more information. Serene? Mm -hmm. Glad everyone is okay, Joy. Thank you for that. The victim tells me enough of his friends in the luxury watch game had been ripped off where it felt like he kind of knew the script. That's why he was prepared with two decoy cases. I think I'm probably still in a state of shock. Last night was a bad movie for Anthony Fair. I was woken up by someone shaking my bed. The luxury watch dealer just got back from going out with friends and thought one of them was trying to keep the night going. And then I heard the words, give me briefcase. Strangers inside his bedroom surrounding him. And I just made a comment. I was like, do you go to bed? And I, I rolled back over. <clears throat> and when I rolled back over, another guy walked out on one side and kind of caught me off guard. And then I looked up and two more guys walked out and I had two guns in my face. The four thieves with guns made off with a backpack of jewelry and cash totaling near 30K plus two empty suitcases. You know, I've, I've always had decoys of stuff. It's just it's an extra precaution that we take. This high profile grabbed his armed robberies are up 44% citywide from last year. But the bottom line to this is that there's been a marked increase of armed robberies involving victims wearing expensive jewelry. LA Police Chief Michael Moore adding robberies in general are up 18% in the same time frame. With regards to moving here from Texas when the trend seems to be the opposite. I just, I'm one of those people that look at, uh, look, at, I find opportunity. Back in the hills, Fair says the early morning intrusion was worst case scenario. Now his team knows what else needs to be done. Well, now that we've experienced it, we know how to beef it up and are going to learn how to beef it up to make it even a more safe. 1 a.m. this morning, strangers in his bedroom. Fair does not keep any of his collection at his house ever. He tells me that anytime he does travel, he travels heavily armed with his security and keeps all of his product off-site. Guys, he moved here just two weeks ago. Alex and Christine. Uh, what a rough welcome to L.A. All right, Travis, thank you. That's right. The victim says he's 100% convinced that he was targeted in this case. He's a very well-known watch dealer. He says Ro he sells Rolexes, for example, that are worth about fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, and he's got millions in inventory. Now, the thing is, uh, he's very popular on social media. He puts all of this on display. He even has a YouTube channel, sort of like a reality show, where all this is very easy for someone to follow. Now, take a look. These are some of his pictures on his social media. He says, unfortunately, his big online presence made him a target in this case. The victim, whose name is Anthony Ferrer, recently moved to L.A. from Texas to open a high-end watch store here. He is currently renting the house here in the Hollywood Hills. The name of his business is Timepiece Gentleman. Online, you can see all of his inventory and the millions, he says. When the burglars got to his house this morning, it was around 1.15. They confronted him. They were specifically asking for the watches and a briefcase full of watches. He says it was around uh, 1.30 when he finally called police. Once they left, he was asleep, however, initially, uh, when all of a sudden he felt someone nudging him. He initially thought that it was his friend playing a prank. Well, it turns out it was the real deal. The suspects, four masked men, they pulled out their guns, they tied him up, demanding they show him, he show them rather where his watches are. He says he showed him some decoys because he's been in this business a long time and was prepared for something like this. He usually walks around with security during the day, but somehow last night he ended up leaving one of his doors open, and that's how he thinks the burglars got in. He did. He did say, however, they got a small backpack with some jewelry, but not a lot of money. Being in this business, I've heard this story a million times. <clears throat> it was just the first time I've ever really lived it. So uh, it just multiple demands of where's the backpack, where's the briefcase. So they knew what they knew what they were looking for. And I, you know, I showed them to a couple of decoys that we have set up around the place and they zip tied my hands behind my back and then they left out my patio door, told me to wait about five minutes or, or they'd be back. 
Now, the home here is a house that he is renting, and he says it does have surveillance cameras, but he is waiting for the actual owner of the house to give him access to the footage. Also, at this point, there is unfortunately no suspect information or suspect description. Now, back out here live, LAPD says once their officers got here early this morning, the suspects had fled, and they also do not have a vehicle description, but they're looking for witnesses, anyone who has any information to come forward. That's the very latest. I'm Lena Bobin reporting live in the Hollywood Hills, KTLA. Five news. Uh, good morning, guys. Well, we don't know if these guys actually stole anything from the house, but we do know they broke in, they tied the homeowners up, and they ransacked the house. Now, this was a horrible, terrifying ordeal for the people inside, about four people inside that residence. And this all happened around 1.30 this morning. Now, take a look at this video. This is from overnight, shortly after the LAPD got here. This is the 2500 block of Carmen Crest Drive in the Hollywood Hills area. According to the LAPD, the homeowners called 911. When once they were eventually uh, able to free themselves, four people inside the house at the time, they told police they were sleeping when all of a sudden they heard some noises. Uh, some people broke into the house. These intruders got into their home. They tied them up, held them at gunpoint, and demanded cash. We don't know exactly how many suspects or if anything was actually stolen from the house, but we do know these guys, they were armed, they were masked, and they ransacked the house. According to a neighbor, the home is being rented by a jeweler who specializes in high-end watches. So given the recent trend with watch thefts, it's possible the victims were targeted. Now, one neighbor earlier this morning telling us she saw some of it go down from the outside. She saw these people snooping around the house. She says she was almost a victim herself. The LAPD is now investigating. The, the home invasions kind of died down a little. Um, we're hoping that we've made a difference. Um, but uh, this was the first one probably in a while. That's right. The LAPD, they are looking into this. Unfortunately, they don't have a description of the suspects at this point. But if you have any information, you're urged to contact the LAPD. I'm Lena Bovin reporting live in the Hollywood Hills, KTLA 5 News. Now he's offering a million dollar reward to help catch those robbers. NBC4's Angie Crash has been following the story. She has the very latest. Anyone out there that has information about these guys, give them up. They would do the same thing. Anthony Ferrer says he'll pay a $1 million reward for information leading to the conviction of four guys who he says entered his home on Carmen Crest Drive in Hollywood Hills and robbed him at gunpoint. <laughs> Ferrer is a luxury watch dealer who built his brand on social media promoting a luxury lifestyle. Ferrer says he just moved to L.A. from Texas and woke up just after one this morning to see four masked armed men standing over his bed. Multiple demands of give us the briefcase, give us the backpack, and and I kept telling him, like, I don't have anything here. Ferrer suspects the robbers may have seen on social media that he carries watches in a briefcase, but he doesn't keep them at home. He says the guys made off with an empty briefcase, a laptop, and more than $30,000 in cash and other jewelry. One of them made the comment, should we shoot him? And the other guy, he, one guy was like bad guy. The other guy was like, no, 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 no. Let's just tie him up and let's get out of here. And so they zip tied me, ran out the patio door and told me not to move for five minutes or they'd be back. Ferrer says a few minutes later, he woke up his friends who live with him and they untied him and called police. Ferrer now has a bodyguard watching over him at his office in downtown LA. He believes his high profile social media presence makes him a target, but instead of getting offline, he'll increase security. He gave this rationale for offering a million dollar reward to capture the men who stole far less than that. Somebody put a gun in my face. That's, that's a fear that I hope nobody ever has to experience. Investigators say there was no sign of forced entry at the home. Ferrer says he believes the guys got in through an unlocked patio door. Police say they're looking through neighbor's surveillance video, searching for clues.